Oh, that's a good bit. That's better fish. That's better fish. That's better fish. You can buy one spool of, I think, there's a fish. Again, for Winnie, these are fish I haven't seen. All right, Minnesota fishing opener. 2023, we're underway. We're headed north. We're gonna get some things rigged, get some things figured out. Here we go, happy fishing opener. Well, that was rough. <laughs> that was not the day we were hoping for. Uh, Lady Leech kicked our butt. No other way to put that. So we're bailing. We'll see you tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. I don't know when. We'll see you tomorrow. Here we go. Stop number two, Lake Winnebagosh. Winnebagosh ish, Winnebagosh, which is a big winnie. Here we are. Um, yesterday sucked. Yesterday was one of the harder days of fishing, harder openers I've had in a long time. Um, we got to put that one behind us. We struggled to catch a walleye. We didn't catch a walleye. We fished all day. I don't know what the deal was. Sounds like people struggled. We caught more perch than I've ever seen on opening day, and other people sounded like the same thing happened with them. So not quite sure what's going on there. I've heard better things about here from yesterday. We're going to go find out. How are we going to fish? I don't know yet. Jigging a plastic, jigging a minnow, jerk bait, hair jig. Haven't decided yet. Um, it's about noon. We packed up the cabin, said goodbye to the parents. Always great to see them. Had a lot of fun fishing with my dad, of course. Um, good weekend, regardless of the fishing. That's it's cheesy, but it's not what it's all about. So, But today, it's about catching fish. So that's what we're gonna do, and I'll show you how we do it. I had this on yesterday. It's a Northland stand-up jig, long shank jig, and a ringworm. So we'll see, it's clear water, so I like a lot of realistic presentation. So we're gonna start with this, hop to long bottom, see if we can find walleyes. I've already seen some on the side scan, so I think we're gonna be in good shape. There's a the fish. <laughs> Was that like the third cast? Fish on. Pulling a little drag, it's a nice, it's a northern. Ha, dang it. Kind of thought so when I felt it, but. Little Slimer. Get over here, don't break my line, please. It's not what we're looking for. Not the program. See you later. That's what we're looking for. Okay. There we go. Nothing real big, nothing real special. Good eater if you wanted one, but first walleye of the year for us, as sad as that is, but inland season anyways, on the board. Northland stand-up jig, beef fish and ringworm. I've loved this combo in clear water, early season. Just hopping along bottom, I think it kind of looks like a wounded shiner, trying to swim along. I might be wrong, I don't know, but it's worked. I'm not an expert fisherman, I just pretend to be. There we go, got him. That one thumped it. Looks like another walleye. Swing him in here, whoops, sorry buddy. Number two, again, not very big. Leader, 14 incher. Bigger than what I've seen on this lake in the past. I know there's bigger out here too, but feels good to get thumped again, huh? I was just gonna talk about how uh, all these fish have been, must be hitting it on the drop. I haven't really felt the bite until I go to pick it back up and you feel weight and that's when you can just set into them and know it's there. But that one, that one crushed it. You know, people think walleyes aren't, aren't very aggressive and that's, uh, that's a fish that'll just prove you wrong. You thump that one good and you can get a good hook set into them. And shallow water walleyes always seem to be that way. Just a little more aggressive than those ones that are out deep. Even if they're not doing that, if they're hitting it on the drop, you don't have as sensitive of a rod, whatever it might be. Ooh, 
if you just start to go and make your hop and you feel weight, give it a hook set. As they say, hook sets are free, right? So you've nothing to lose. There's probably gonna be a fish there or it's a rock. So be it. But as I always say, if you pull and the weight pulls back on you, set the hook. We're just gonna see if there's any fish that want live bait. I've got minnows. I don't like fishing minnows if I can help it, but we're gonna try it. Oh, I do have a long shank jig on here. I don't really like that. Usually I like short shank, but it's a new Northland tungsten, eighth ounce in blue. Coming a favorite of mine. Medium light rod. It's a St. Croix Icon. So obviously I'm not gonna pop it off bottom as hard as I do with plastic. Just because I don't want that minnow to rip off. better fish. I might scoop that one. Nice. Ooh. Popped my hook right there. That's what we're looking for. Still not a giant, but be a great eating fish. Getting a little bit bigger. Love to see it. So again, all I got, Northland Tungsten Jig, eighth ounce, blue, because clear water, I like blue, more natural minnow colors. And it's just a fat head. I've got spot tails, but here I think fat heads are working just fine. And I'm just pitching it out away from the boat and just kind of slowly hopping it, kind of dragging it with the minnow. With that plastic, I was a little more aggressive with it, but with the minnow, I keep it a little more gentle. And again, you kind of just pick up on your rod, you feel the rod tip load up and you set the hook, whack them. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. I enjoy this. This is a good time. There it is. You can see the jig in its mouth. Back in the drink. It's interesting though. Just picked up my jig, got some weeds down there. So a little irregularity in the brake line, current coming out, and weeds. No wonder there's fish down there. Might be time to move. <clears throat> Find some new fish. <laughs> Maybe not. Northern. That's hilarious. Take it over here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was not staged. I need some wires for this guy. Don't break my line. Ah, oh, I broke my line. Oh, dang it. Another thing in these clear lakes, zebra mussel lakes, is water, this water clarity is wicked. Winnie isn't so bad as leech was yesterday, but going with super long leaders. So I, I like braid, it's my main line. I like the sensitivity of it. I like the, sometimes I like no stretch factor, but if you're gonna do that, you have to, have to, have to go with a leader in this clear water. Otherwise, these fish are gonna pick out your line. They're gonna realize with the gigs up, they're not gonna eat, you'll get a few bites, but your success is gonna go way up. I use fluorocarbon, some guys still use mono. I like fluoro. I know people have said it before, but it's because of it's basically invisible. Pretty abrasion resistant, so especially if you're fishing around rocks, if you're fishing with fish like pike, obviously we saw, ooh, we just missed one. For fishing with lakes with pike, you're getting bit by pike. I should have probably retied it so I wouldn't have lost that jig. But Oh, and the zebra mussels are super sharp. If you ever stepped on, if you ever swam in lakes up here and stepped on them, you cut your feet. And the same thing's happening to your line every time you drag it across. So that's why I go with fluoro over mono. That's just me, you do you, but you can buy one spool of, I think, there's a fish. <laughs> that's fun. I think I've got Seaguar Red Label. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but that's what I use. There's a little water. 
and uh, you can buy one spool lasts you a while, but see, there you go. If I'd had braid on, might not have had that bite. I think it's time to move. I wasn't really planning on fishing here, but just kind of rolled through, decided to scan it, and looks like some fish out there, so I'm gonna go back to the chicken minnow. She's a little crusty, we'll give her a shot. Try to catch some of these. This one might be a netter. Oh, that's a good bit. That's better fish. That's better fish. That's better fish. That's better walleye. That's what we're looking for. Get over here into the net. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. They ain't a giant, but from what we've seen on Winnie the last few years, that's a good one. Nice. God dang, that feels good. We'll get her on the bump board and get her back. Hot diggity, guys. Thanks for the fun. Healthy release. He'll love to see it. That's the fish we're looking for on this lake. That's the fish we're looking for. Again, not a giant, but from what I know Winnebagosh has from a couple years ago, that's the kind of fish that have come into this lake. Management has been done right. These fish have come on strong. They're those good year classes and that's what you're starting to see. That's awesome. This is why you trust your electronics. I didn't really want to fish here. I just happened to kind of slow down and scan through it. Saw some marks, saw some structure. Not much structure, it was just sand and a few boulders and, I, and rocks, boulders, I don't know. Probably more rocks, not really a boulder, but that's the kind of stuff I love to see this time of year for walleyes, especially on a lake like this, it's loaded with it. But it's right off that first shoreline break. There is some moving water around here. I'm not super close to it, but it sets up well for, for May and early season walleyes. Jig and minnow bite, such a traditional Northern Minnesota thing, but get it away from the boat. Check this out, guys. Working this rattle bait. Look what's on that hook. Zebra mussel. That little guy. It's not only your boats that you have to be careful of and your trailers that you look at, your docks. Check your gear out too. Make sure there's no larva on your whatever. There's a scientific name for zebra mussel larva. On your line, check your hooks, check everything. We don't want to be spreading this stuff. We know it's bad. Lakes like Winnebagosh, leech are full of them. So we don't want to be taking those other places. So check your stuff. Starting to pick up again. I think it is. We're on 12 feet of water. Yeah, another nice walleye. Hit over here. Slid out a little deeper, not much deeper than what we were earlier. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna hit this guy just for fun. He's a little big to swing. It's a nice fish actually. He got a little bigger once he got in the net. This one might be too big, being that 18 to 23. Not that I'm keeping fish anyways, but again, for Winnie, these are fish I haven't seen. Well, that's a wrap here on Winnie, man. Fun day, found some nice fish, found some eaters, could have had a good fish fry but found some big fish too. It's so nice to see on this lake how those that use those year classes have grown and gotten bigger and healthy and this lake is so sustainable. Fun lake to come fish. Highly recommend if you're in the area, hit it. I regret when I lived up here not fishing it more, but uh, glad I could get up here. It's uh, time to head back, get some dinner. We're heading to Red tomorrow, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button. Tell me what you think of Winnebagosh in the comments below. We're headed to Red tomorrow. We'll see you in the next video.